The code has been in place since 1954 and it is regularly reviewed to ensure that the code remains sound and relevant. The last major changes were made in 2005 and included clarifications on the rules of acceptance of gifts, declarations of investments and directorships, amongst others. Political office holders are also expected to abide by the rules of prudence issued by the Prime Minister after every general election to all PAP members of Parliament. Mr Edward Chia, Ms Joan Pereira and Mr Muhammad Fahmi asked about the whistleblowing process. The Public Service has an established internal disclosure policy where officers can directly report to their heads of agencies any wrongful or doubtful practices they observe. There are confidentiality, there are confidentiality and non-retaliation provisions in place to protect those who have reported in good faith. If anyone suspects that any of their superiors have been compromised, they can report the suspicious activity to their heads of agencies or beyond the organisation, including to agencies like the CPIB. Finally, Mr Speaker, sir, I must remind ourselves that Mr Iswaran's case is before the courts. We should, not, we should let the law take its course and not jump to conclusions nor make statements that may prejudice the case or prematurely adjudge the processes that may have gone right or wrong. This case is one that was picked up by CPIB and investigations were initiated without external pressure or interference. In updating our rules, sharpening our implementation and inculcating the right ethos and values to our officers, the public service and the government will continue to draw lessons from this and other cases, whether locally or overseas.